All right, guys, welcome to another cigar review by the Cigar Guys. My name is Alex, and today we have a very special cigar to review. This is the Padron 60th Anniversary Maduro. It comes in a box of 10, and each cigar is individually boxed in this smaller box, this personalized box right here. MSRP for each cigar is $75. So this is officially the most expensive Padron cigar outside of the Padron and Fuente collaboration that they did. This is going to be the most expensive from the regular Padron line. 60th anniversary. I was hoping they'd do $60 because the 50 year was $50, the 50 year of the hammer, but that's okay. Take it out. The cigar is right there. Also wrapped in cellophane for extra protection. It is a Perfecto, this one. So a very unique size for Padron, all around a very unique cigar. And of course, if you're going to smoke a Padron, if you're going to smoke one Padron, my opinion, you have to go with Maduro. So that's what I did today. This is a very limited cigar right now. I'm sure they'll make more. But at this point... Very limited. The shop that I got it from only had uh, four of the Maduros and four of the Naturals each because they had divided up between the other shops. So between five shops, they got four boxes total. So they could almost get, you know, 10 per shop. I think it's a little, it's not perfectly straight. We'll see how that goes. I mean, that shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to go ahead and cut it, light it, let you know my initial thoughts, and stay with us for the entire review video. Make sure you subscribe as well and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated with me uploading more cigar reviews, cigar podcasts, a bunch of other content. Mm, a little too tight, so going to cut as deep as I can. Hmm. Very interesting taste on the cold draw. A little tight right now, but once we get past this point of the the foot, we should be good. I kind of want to go a little bit lower. It's it's uh, customary for Padron to have a very easy draw, so I'm hoping that this is also the case. Alright, go ahead and light it up. I'm going to be honest with you. This draw is tight. I'm not getting any smoke off it. I'm getting a little scared here. Literally no draw. Are you seeing this? What? Look at this. Do we stop it? No, just look. Did you even light it? You would think I didn't. I this is crazy. It. For seventy five dollars it should be lighting stuff. This is absolutely crazy. Thank you, Jared. Jared said for seventy five dollars the cigar should be lighting itself. And for the record, I spent a hundred dollars on this. So I actually got a extra scammed i'm just i'm shocked i mean i'm gonna keep going down but this is crazy i'm legit getting nothing i don't want to keep going down on the 
too close to the shoulder because it might unravel. I'm just like burning slowly but surely trying to get the, the burn line to go down. I'm going to try and actually, let me get this one. I'm going to burn the, the edges here and see if I can open it up. Getting better. I'm feeling it now. I mean, you sh it's crazy. So right now, the draw is still pretty tight. I'm getting a little smoke out of it. Less air resistance, but it's still definitely, I would consider a tight draw. There it is. That, that's the draw right there. So, at least for me, once you get past what I would call literally the nipple on this taper here, it opens up quite a bit. Right now, still a little hard to get smoke out of. We're getting there. Hopefully it stays evenly lit evenly burned, uh, very spicy from those first few puffs I just took, those first real puffs, very spice heavy, especially on the retro hail. Um, I think we're getting some cocoa. Like a little bit, mainly heavy spice right now. Very, very spice heavy. I'm going to let it settle down for a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to let it settle down for a bit. Give it a good 5-10 minutes and then I'll come back. Alright, so it's getting there after that slight concern. Like I said in the beginning too, with the foot shaped like that, it's going to be a tight draw initially. But I've never experienced no draw before. I mean, I had to basically get down half an inch or so before I could get anything, any smoke, any, any sort of air coming through. What I'm a little concerned about is, and I didn't say this in the beginning because I wanted to be sure, I took a cold draw. And I could taste like, almost like a paint smell or taste. I still have a little bit of that when I draw on the cigar. And I think it's because whatever they use to paint this box, it smells like, like paint, I guess. It's the best way I could describe it. So when I draw on the cigar, I get a little bit of that. So... Slightly concerned about that, but I mean, I'm going to smoke the whole thing. The spice has died down closer to what we usually get from a Padron. Padrones are usually quite spice heavy. Um, initially, it was very, very spicy. Now it's toned down a little bit. It's more uh, enjoyable. The draw is where Padron cigars usually is. Very effortless smoke output is decent not the best but it's there a lot of black pepper a hint just the slightest hint of what i think is cocoa but yeah mainly heavy spice is what i'm getting mostly so i'm going to get down to the end of the first third and i'll give you another update All right, finishing up the first third. Ash is holding on nicely. 
burn corrected itself. So it's pretty much now a razor sharp burn. Spice has died down a bit. So now I can taste more of the cocoa, a little bit of a coffee flavor too. Still got some good uh, black pepper flavor notes on there. Smoke output's the same, not too much. And every once in a while, I do still pick up that like paint scent or flavor when I puff on the cigar. So I almost feel like when they made these boxes, they should have just made them all wood. Like the uh, Musa de Saka series or um, something like that. Because the paint just smells super strong. It is a beautiful box, don't get me wrong. But if it's going to affect the flavor of the cigar, probably not the best idea. But yeah, besides that spice, a little bit of coffee and chocolatey flavor. I'm not getting too much off of it right now. So maybe it'll transition a bit into the second or third. third. Uh, but until then, we'll see how it goes. I'll be back for more. All right, guys, approaching the band, you know what that means. End of the second third here. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, not much change up flavor-wise. Burn is so good. Ash is holding on nicely. But right now, I'm just getting black pepper. Not much else, even on the retro. Nothing crazy going on. It's definitely different from what what we normally expect from a Padron or what we get out of a Padron. So, just a whole new experience. But for the price tag, I, I honestly, I'd rather get the 1926 or even anything from the Family Reserve. So, I don't know, I mean... We're going to keep going to the final third and see what happens. All right. In the final third, still not really much change here. I'll say this. If you're going to buy this $75 cigar, put it in your humidor and age it for at least another year or two. And we'll see what happens. I personally... Like I said earlier, I, I'm just going to go get a Padron 1926 and call it a day. I mean, those are always great. For the price, I just don't see it. And it's sad to say, because I'm we all love Padron. Padron is great. This cigar in particular, at this point in time, not a fan. But that's just my opinion. I'm sure there's plenty of other people that have smoked it and enjoyed it. This is just my opinion. So I'm going to continue to finish this out, but nothing special. I'm going to be honest with you. It pains me to say this. It pains me to do this review right now because I think maybe I was expecting too much. I don't know, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have much else to say, so we're going to leave it at that. If you have smoked this, let me know what you think. If you've bought it, let me know if you're going to smoke it or if you're going to wait another year or two, age it, see how it turns out. I'm sure these cigars are going to come back and not continue to be a limited series. I don't know if there'll be changes to it. We'll see what happens. I don't know. But this was my review of the Padron 60th Anniversary Cigar. Thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated with when we upload new cigar review videos. We also have full-length podcasts, anywhere from 45 minutes to over an hour sometimes, talking about many different topics. And we also have a bunch of short content for you to check out. All our social media is in the description. Everything you need is in the description. So check that out. We have a bunch of content that you're going to like. Other than that, until then, see you next time. Take care.